The emerald embrace of the Amazon rainforest held its breath as dusk settled. Sunlight, filtered through a canopy so dense it seemed woven from emerald threads, surrendered its dominion to the encroaching night. The air, thick with the musky fragrance of a million unseen blooms, vibrated with the unseen symphony of creatures preparing for their nocturnal dance. Here, along the sinuous ribbon of the Amazon River, a legend pulsed with the rhythm of the current the legend of the Boto. He wasn't your ordinary river dolphin, this Boto. He was a creature born of moonlight and mystery, a shapeshifter who embodied the very essence of the Amazon. By day he was a sleek, silver shadow gliding effortlessly through the inky waters. His powerful body, a flash of brilliance beneath the dappled sunlight, navigated the treacherous currents with a grace that belied his immense strength. But when the moon, a watchful pearl in the velvet sky, cast its silvery glow upon the Amazon's surface, a transformation unfolded as breathtaking as it was terrifying. With a flick of his powerful tail that sent ripples dancing across the water, and a swirl of moonlight that seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly magic, the Boto shed his aquatic form. He materialized on the moonlit shore, a vision that could steal the breath from even the most seasoned Amazonian hunter. Sculpted from the rich earth of the rainforest, his skin held the warmth of fertile soil. His eyes, like polished obsidian pebbles, held the depth of a thousand Amazonian nights, a depth that seemed to pierce the very soul of anyone who dared to look into them. This was the Boto at his most dangerous. His voice, as smooth and alluring as the Amazon itself in the calm before a storm, could weave tales that would make even the wisest shaman swoon. Promises of love and adventure dripped from his lips like honeyed nectar, whispered enticements that danced on the humid breeze under the watchful gaze of the moon. Many a young woman, captivated by his charm and the intoxicating beauty of the transformed Boto, was said to have followed him into the heart of the rainforest. But the path they embarked upon wasn't paved with rose petals and moonlight. It led them to the Boto's enchanted canoe, a vessel carved from a single, enormous Amazonian kapok tree. The wood, polished to a mirror like sheen, seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly glow under the moon's caress. Stepping aboard, the women would disappear into the night, leaving behind only the haunting echo of laughter and the gentle lapping of waves against the shore. Whispers swirled through the Amazonian villages like smoke from a dying fire. Some, voices laced with a tremor of fear and a hint of morbid fascination, spoke of a darker fate. They said the Boto, a creature eternally bound to both river and man offered these women a life intertwined with the magic of the Amazon. They became Ira, beautiful mermaid-like beings who spent their days frolicking in the river's depths and their nights singing with the chorus of frogs and crickets, forever bound to the whims of the capricious Boto. Others, their voices grim and laced with a deep-seated fear, believed the Boto kept these women captive. His captivating facade, they said, masked a monstrous intent. The Boto, according to their chilling tales, lured these women to a watery grave, their screams swallowed by the relentless current of the Amazon. The legend of the Boto served as a chilling reminder for the young women who lived along the Amazon's sinuous path. It was a cautionary tale not just of the dangers that lurked in the shadows of the rainforest, the jaguars with eyes that burned like embers, the caimans with jaws that could crush bone, the deadly spiders lurking in the undergrowth, but of the seductive whispers of beauty and the allure of the unknown. But for Avani, a young woman with eyes the color of the Amazon after a heavy rain, and a spirit as wild and untamed as the river itself, the Boto wasn't just a figure of fear. He was a symbol of the Amazon's untamed magic, a living embodiment of the whispers that danced on the humid breeze. Unlike the others, fear wasn't the emotion that gripped Avani's heart whenever she heard stories of the handsome stranger who appeared under the moon. Instead, a strange yearning, a pull as undeniable as the current of the Amazon itself, tugged at her heart whenever the Boto's legend was recounted. One moonlit night, under a sky ablaze with a million twinkling stars, Avani found herself drawn to the riverbank like a moth to a flame. The hypnotic melody of the Boto, carried on the night wind, filled her ears. It was a song of love and longing, a melody that spoke of a world beyond the confines of her village, a world filled with adventure and unimaginable beauty. Avani, her heart pounding a frantic rhythm against her ribs, cautiously approached the water's edge. The air shimmered, 
anticipation crackling around her like static electricity. Then, he emerged from the moonlit water, the boto, a vision that stole the breath from her lungs. His smile, as captivating as a symphony of Amazonian fireflies, sent a shiver down her spine. It was a smile that promised untold secrets and whispered forbidden desires. Yet, amidst the undeniable charm, Avani saw a flicker of something else in his obsidian eyes, a hint of loneliness, a yearning that mirrored her own. Avani the Boto spoke, his voice a caress that sent shivers down her body. He knew her name. How? A cold dread snaked its way through her, but it was quickly overpowered by a strange sense of destiny. Who are you, Avani's voice? Barely a whisper, trembled in the humid night air. I am the Boto, he replied, stepping closer, the moonlight glinting off his skin like scattered emeralds. And you, Avani, are the answer to a yearning that has haunted me for centuries. He extended a hand, his touch sending a spark of electricity through her. Avani looked at his hand, then back into his mesmerizing eyes, in eyes. The stories whispered in hushed tones echoed in her mind, tales of women disappearing into the night, never to be seen again. Yet the pull she felt towards him was undeniable. What do you want from me, Avani asked, her voice barely a whisper. A flicker of sadness crossed the Boto's face. Not what you think, he replied. I offer you a choice, Avani. A life beyond the confines of your village, a life filled with adventure and wonders beyond your wildest dreams. But it comes with a price. He gestured towards his enchanted canoe, shimmering like a mythical creature on the water's edge. Avani's gaze darted between the captivating Boto and the vessel that promised escape from the ordinary. The melody of his song intensified, weaving a spell that threatened to unravel her resolve. What price Avani asked, her voice laced with a hint of defiance. The Boto's smile turned enigmatic. There are many things a creature of the Amazon can offer, he said, his voice a low murmur. But freedom, true freedom, comes at a cost. Are you willing to pay it, Avani? Avani stood at the precipice of a decision that would change her life forever. The whispers of fear and the allure of adventure battled within her. Would she succumb to the Boto's charm and step into the enchanted canoe, venturing into the unknown? Or would she find the strength to resist the magic of the Amazon's most captivating legend and return to the safety of her village? As Avani gazed into the Boto's eyes, the moon, a silent observer, cast an ethereal glow upon the Amazon, and the answer, like the depths of the mighty river itself, remained shrouded in mystery.